So this video will go over how to create a pipe dimension label that looks like a label. So I'm just going to create one using this pipe label. It's going to be tied to this dimension, pipe dimension label anchor. And so I'm just going to move it down below here. And so I'm going to change this one. So the first thing I need to do is create an expression. And it's going to be the half length of pipe in profile view. And then I just want to add in the properties I want to do. So I want to take the pipe start station minus the start pipe in station. And I want to divide it by two. And then I want to turn it into drawing units. So I'll divide it by the drawing scale conversion. And sometimes the start station can be bigger than the, the ending station. So I just want to get the absolute value for that. Uh, the double is the result. And then I would just hit OK. And absolute needs to be capitalized. You can also find it over here on the list at the top. And so that's going to give me the dimension from the pipe anchor to the center or the endpoint of the pipe. So this is the name only one. So I'm going to hit edit. And so that's going to open it up. So I want the pipe text to be anchored to the pipe anchor point. And so I just want to change this to pipe dimension. And you can see it's down there. So this, right now it's just pipe text, so I want to add some lines. So this is going to be vert left. Here I want it to be anchored to the pipe dimension again. And then the length is going to be my half length of pipe in profile view. And then I'm going to see if 90 degrees does it. If I hit apply, I can see that it's located here. So really I wanted it to be zero. Actually, this is going to be horizontal line right. And you can see that it's angled, and I want it to be parallel to the bottom of the screen. So if I go to the General tab, I can go to View, and then hit Apply. And then you see that it rotates over. So I want to add another line. On this one, I'm just going to copy it. And this one's going to be left. And my rotation is going to be... 180. If I hit apply, you can see that it comes over. And now I want to do the up and down lines. So I'll add another one. This is going to be vert line right. So it's going to be anchored to the horizontal line on the right side, the end of it. And then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Once I hit apply, it should show up. I want it moved down. So on the offset, I want to do negative 0.1. And then you can see it moved down. Um, I can change the length to whatever value that I want. So that looks good. And then I'll just copy this one and do the same thing for the left. This is going to be negative 90. And once I hit apply, I can see that I want my Y offset to be 0.1. And then I want to add some arrows, so I'll go and add reference text. Uh, not a reference text, but a block. This is going to be arrow right. This is going to be tied to the horizontal line right. The endpoint. And then I want to select the block. Uh, close fill should work. And then I just want to hit apply to see where it ends up at. It's quite big, so I'll just change the block height to maybe half the height. And then I've got that. And then I just want to copy this one. And this is going to be left. If I hit apply again, I can see that it now looks correct. I can then hit OK. And now I can move it to the location where I want it, and it looks like a pipe dimension.